When men come in for a semen analysis, the thing they are of course most afraid of is that they'll have a specimen that shows that they have no sperm, which is azospermia, something that used to mean that there was no way that they would be a biological father. At Mays, I'm really thrilled to be able to have available um, what's called extended sperm search and microfreeze, or ESSM. Many men have very low numbers of sperm, or actually a uh, regular semen analysis shows that they have no sperm. However, it's possible that these men will actually have very, very low numbers of sperm that will just not show up in a regular semen analysis. So the ESSM is a laboratory procedure where a man produces a specimen, and then we actually process it and spend six hours looking through it, trying to isolate individual sperm. And then what's cool about that is we actually can take those sperm, put them in a very uh, specialized micro chamber and freeze them in a special way where 95% of them will then survive uh, the thawing process. Most of the time when men have azospermia, the treatment is to go in and do a surgery called uh, micro tessie. It's much more invasive than ejaculating into a cup uh, and can damage the testis. So it's still a very important tool that we have, but in my opinion, every man should undergo the extended sperm search and microfreeze before uh, he has a tessie, because if we can get sperm in a non-invasive way, then that of course is better. And the ideal thing would be is to get uh, enough sperm so that um, they could have as many biological children as, as they want. We're finding that men who have no sperm in the ejaculate, 44% uh, of those men actually are having some sperm when we do the ESSM. And then those men uh, can go ahead and uh, often be biological fathers uh, using those sperm. And with those men, um, it's just absolutely great.